Well everyone, this is the test of the Kodiak canvas truck tent. So we're going to check this out and uh, I think you'll like it. This is pretty cool. So I'm going to do this slowly so I don't make you sick. And here it is. This is the full-size truck bed tent. Very easy to set up once you uh, get these uh, rails put in correctly. You can see where it, uh, that's the Kodiak sign. And I'm going to step back here so you can kind of see this a little bit better. You can see where there's an actual awning that comes up over the cab. Uh, that's pretty nice because if you have a cab window, which I don't, like a sliding rear window, it uh, actually uh, will allow you to go directly into the cab, so that's pretty cool. That's, uh, that's really, really interesting. And that's a, that's a great asset if you have one of those. I just don't, by chance, have one. So anyway, let's uh, go take a look around here. I'll just uh, keep coming around the truck here. Probably going to get into the sun a little bit here, so I'll get around the back side here. And you can see, uh, let me show you this, there's actual vent right up underneath the awning, so if it's pouring with rain or whatever, you've got venting there. And then, of course, as I said, the, the cab uh, window there too, which is nice because it ends up being right by your head. That's pretty cool. And then two mesh windows uh, with screen, you know, with uh, storm doors on them, so it goes straight across there for great ventilation. On the uh, tailgate here, uh, that's how it actually works. The tailgate is dropped down on it. And that's actually part of it. Very large back door screen uh, with, of course, a uh, storm shield on it, too. And then the awning you can see coming out around the outside. Very, very cool. Uh, I just got this built for it. I actually made a platform for the bed and worked out really, really well. It's uh, three feet by six and a half feet. And I'll just kind of move that back off the side here. And you can see how much room is in that. Now, this is three feet wide by six and a half feet long and there's still plenty of room inside the tent to walk along the side here. Okay, I'm going to jump up in here without falling. That'll be a good one. Okay, so we're up inside the tent here and that's what it looks like. Pretty cool. I'm actually sitting upright on top of my uh, platform that I built and you can clearly see that there's plenty of headroom for me. I'll put my hand up here and or I'll just pull this back real quick here. See me and then up to the top here. Just very, very well made. There are these rails that you put in and they're held in by C-clamps and they go along the bed rails of the truck and then each one of the poles, there's three main ones. They go into a pin that's in the metal there. Uh, very well built uh, and then they go back in, you know, and they're Velcroed in their, their prospective areas in the center here and then uh, out toward the back. But you can see how that is, and there's the cab window. Uh, you know, if you had a back window, you could uh, use a heater, you could use air conditioning in it, uh, you know, if, if you're into that type of thing. Uh, very, very well. But uh, and this is a Teton Sports uh, XL... Uh, sleeping bag it's really big and it's uh, to 30 below zero so or I think it's 35 below so there's plenty of plenty of room uh, also I built this platform just high enough that you can uh, actually access a deep cycle battery I have right here and I can actually have a uh, gauge on that to tell how many amps or how many volts that I have out of it so it's fully charged there's a uh, 12 volt cigarette lighter plug-ins there and also a quick connect uh, pigtail for the solar panels which actually go up on top of the cab so that works out well there's a, a mesh um, gear bag there along the wall there I just had this little aluminum table here uh, kind of wobbly a little bit just because of the plastic bed liner and uh, otherwise that you know these are the storm flaps they zip up of course and you're ready to go there and then those rails are set that way but very very cool uh, I'm very impressed and uh, I'm just gonna jump back down out of here and that's it Kodiak canvas tent pretty cool can't wait to sleep in it tonight. It's supposed to get down to about 50 tonight, so it'll be a nice night. Nice zippers on these. Uh, it doesn't look like it's cheaply made. They, uh, they're the big zippers, so uh, well made as far as I can see. And uh, just a flap there, gonna pull that over, zip it up. 
kind of funny i got to show you this they put a velcro tab on the outside don't ask how you're supposed to do that when the door is shut <laughs> i joked with the guy on the uh, on the phone about it and they just do it just to keep that from flapping around when you're not in the tent or whatever it just helps keep the zipper clean i guess but uh so there it is the kodiak canvas truck tent pretty cool i'm uh, i'm real happy with it uh, it looks like the company is a good company uh, i had some questions for them and they answered them and they were very very polite on the phone so that is it i know the video is going on here for five minutes almost six minutes now but uh tried to give you a real good rundown of how that looks and how it works okay see you guys later